Hello, I'm country traveling Martin, southeastern Manitoba, Canada, and you're about to watch the best, greatest YouTuber on the internet, Trucker Josh. Enjoyed your show? Give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe now. Back in the old Volvo, and we got a special guest with us, Chevy! Chevy! Going on a trip, Chevy! Whee! So yes, while Diesel's paw heals from whatever making it all infected, hopefully it's just a little infection. We've got him on antibiotics and the vet's got him on all this other stuff, so hopefully that'll heal it up. Because if that doesn't heal it up, there's a chance that it might be skin cancer, melanoma. And then we have to amputate his toes. So let's hope and pray that it's not that. So uh, we'll see how it looks like when we get back from this trip. We'll be, uh, it's before New Year's right now when I'm filming this. We gotta deliver the first part of this load into Saskatoon tomorrow, which is the 30th. And then we gotta go in the afternoon to Atchison, Alberta on the west side of Edmonton, try to get there in the afternoon, deliver that on the 30th. And then the 31st and 30th, we head down to Kamloops where I'm gonna be spending New Year's. I've got a motel there lined up, so uh, I don't deliver this freight in Langley until the second. So New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, I'll be in uh, uh, Kamloops. Hopefully, I can find some fireworks or something to go and see her. Why not? But I got a pet-friendly room reserved for me and Chevy, and we'll just relax, watch some TV, watch the countdown on TV if we have to, and uh, ring in the new year in Pacific time. And then early in the morning on the second, we'll make the trip down the Okanagan, or not the Okanagan, what's it called again? Why can't I think of it right now? The, uh, ba -ba -ba, the highway between Kamloops and the Lower Mainland, the one that goes way through the mountains and always has lots of snow. Something pass. I oh, can't think of it right now. Oh, I'm having a brain fart. You know what I'm talking about, though. It's the one that's on Highway Through Hell, that show. Yeah, we're going through the highway through frozen hell early in the morning on the second. If it's gonna be bad weather, I'll probably just leave on the New Year's Day in the afternoon or evening or something to get a little head start, but it's about a three hour drive if the conditions are good. And then we unload on the second. Hopefully we'll get a reload back home. And then Britt and I have a fertility appointment. We're going in for the IUI procedure uh, early in January. So that's where they take my guys and drop them off at the finish line. It's uh, very likely that she'd be pregnant after that, but let's hope and pray. We've been having fertility issues for a long time now, so let's hope that that solves all our problems and we can get a healthy little baby boy or girl. Either one doesn't matter as long as they're healthy. Let's get going. Let's get on the road. We've got our trailer behind us. We're hooked up. Let's rock and roll. We've been sitting for too long. Well, we're making our way around Winnipeg. You can tell because there's traffic lights. So you know I'm not lying to you. Look at this guy on the left is super raced car 300. Isn't that supposed to be a family sedan? Looks pretty nice actually. That was a little risky cutting in front of me there, little Civic. Woo. My truck would have eaten you for breakfast. So it's not quite the new year yet, but it's sort of like the new the first trip of the new year for me because we're gonna be arriving back in the new year. I'm rarely home for New Year's because I take off so much time for Christmas. Uh, I can't take off all the time in the world, so I, I pick and choose, and Christmas is more important to me than New Year's Day and New Year's celebrations, so. I mean, last year I think I was home for New Year's or the time before. I'm, I'm home every now and then if it works out, but I never make it a priority because Christmas is the priority. And now that that's gone for 2019, we look forward to Christmas 2020. Only about 360 days to go. Something like that. Gotta figure out how we're gonna make next Christmas bigger and better. Probably gonna have a little baby by then, so gotta make the first Christmas mind blasting.
fighting this north wind. That's how you know it's gonna get cold. It's snowing like crazy in uh, the US right now in North Dakota all the way down to Kansas, right down the Midwest. And uh, I looked on the radar at the winds. There's a strong north wind coming up out of the, out of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, over top of Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia is pushing north. And there's this strong wind up here headed south to meet it. So you get this ice, old, ice cold Arctic air coming down to meet the nice Gulf air. And they're meeting right above Nebraska, approximately. And it's creating this swirl, this massive swirl over the entire Midwest of cold air and hot air. And it's turning it into just a huge blanket of snow down there. So we're above the snow. You know, the Gulf is below it, but man, are they getting snow. They shut down I-94 from what I heard, just like south of here. Good thing we're headed west in Canada, and we don't got to worry about that. But, sorry guys, we're sharing our Arctic air with you. And we heard you guys were a little bit warm over Christmas, and that, you know, you were, you were thinking the world was coming to an end. So we said, no, 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 not so fast. Here's some Arctic air for you. It'll cool yourself down a little bit. There you go. It's still pretty cold. We'll share some with you just to prove it. So I am coming up to, uh, I'm around Portage La Prairie already on my way west in Manitoba. Can you guys see there? Oh, it's so windy, I can't even get my windshield clear. My windshield washer fluid just blows right, right off the side of the truck. Uh, we're coming up to uh, Brandon, I believe. I want to get all the way to Saskatoon tonight yet, so. I mean, the days are slowly getting longer again, but as soon as the sun goes down, you know, nature takes over and you want to go to bed. Uh, clean off his windshield so you can see. We are in Balgoni, Baloney Balgoni, in Saskatchewan. This is pretty much just outside of Regina. Uh, we're going to head up north here towards Saskatoon. Uh, we'll be there in three hours or so, but first... We're stopping at the Flying J. Turn right on Highway 364 and then. No, Karen. Turn right in 100 meters. In 200 meters, we gotta go around one of these goofy roundabouts. Oh wait, no, there's this bypass. I don't even have to go around the sweet. Turn right and then. Turn right in 100 meters. No. We get a bypass the roundabout. Turn right. Oh, I am turning right. Am I doing it wrong? I'm gonna turn left now, see what she says. She's gonna be so mad. We're going to the Flying J. You know what I'm getting there. I haven't had their, their freshly, fresh ground bean on coffee. This for 22 kilometers. Hush. I haven't had their, what do you call that? Like a fresh ground coffee since before Christmas. So we're going in and it is going to be fantastic. I have been craving it all day. I was gonna stop at the Flying J in uh, Headingley, west of Winnipeg, but I, I had already grabbed a coffee before I started going, so I didn't, like, that would've been like one hour apart. I was still buzzing off the last coffee. I didn't need another one then. So now, we'll grab one of these bad boys. We pull in here. Oh, Mr. Penner wants to come out. For six kilometers. No, I'm going to turn into Flying J. Karen. You can just hear me talking about the coffee. All right, Penner. Come on, Penner boy. Penner, pounder, Penner, pounder. Come on. Come on. There you go. I'll wait. Not like I have a choice. You are in the driveway. Okay, so this is... Uh, well, one of my favorite stops. I don't like staying here for night though. I'm just giving you guys a heads up. My fuel has been stolen or I've had fuel stolen out of my tanks twice. The last two times I've stayed here, both times someone stole fuel out of my tanks. So just a heads up if you want to stay here. I'm sure it doesn't happen that often, but I'm the unlucky one who it's happened to more often than not. So we don't stay the night here anymore if we don't have to. And if we do, we try to stay, this is the empty. There's not a lot of trucks on the road because it's still the holiday season. It's like between Christmas and New Year's right now. So most people are at home. Even the yard where I picked up my trailer, almost every truck was in the yard. It was packed. 
And they actually offered, they, when they lined up this load for me, they made it so that I could be home for New Year's as well. I had to tell them, no, 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 I'll work over New Year's uh, because I want to get back home for Brit's cycle. We got to go for our IUI. We got to go put a, get, get, get a baby growing inside of her. All right. So I needed to get home sooner. So uh, I could have stayed home for New Year's as well. I could have been home right now, but here we are living the dream. Wait, I don't need to park in the pumps. I'm not getting fuel here. One second. I don't need to block a pump. That's rude. Have I learned nothing from my own vlogs? You don't block the pumps. Silly. Never park in the pumps and go inside if you don't have to. All right. Coffee time. Well, she's still there. Still there. So what we're dropping off tomorrow is from these yellow things back. These yellow things are going to uh, Alberta. Everything back here is all going to Saskatoon tomorrow morning. Let's go get our coffee. So it's weird that my mouth is watering. I hope they have it. Sometimes these smaller ones don't have it. Oh, they have it. They have it. It's right here. These are what I'm always talking about. And I always take the organic Colombian. Get the big one. Go bigger, go home. Cream, because we're, you know, it's the holidays still. It's like New Year's. So just... Okay. Just put a little bit in there. We want that organic Colombian. Large. Organic Colombian. I'll say no room for cream because you'll see. See, it takes the beans out of there and squirts it into there. I want like a small machine like this for at home. Oh, here it comes. There she goes. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the best coffee you can find on the highway. You see, and I put the cream in first so that it mixes itself. Then you don't have to stir it. And if you put just a little bit in, you can say on here, don't leave room for cream. And you'll see it'll stop before the top. If you tell it to leave room for cream, it leaves like an inch at the top. And that's valuable coffee that you didn't get for the same price. And there you go. I am way too excited for this. I know, I know. But hey, like I said, still the holidays. What? I'm hungry. She's turning out to be quite the frosty one here, boys. This is a cold one. It's getting, uh, well, not that cold yet, but you know. Gotta talk about something. One kilometer, take the entrance to the right on Highway 6 North, Highway 11 North Saskatoon, and then keep to the right in 410 meters. All the trees here have that frost on them. They call it hoar frost. I don't know why, but that was the name that somebody picked for it. We don't know the story behind why, but it's called hoar frost on the trees. It turns the trees a beautiful white. In the morning, it's going to be so beautiful. Take the entrance to the right on Highway 6 North, Highway 11 North Saskatoon, and then keep to the right in 410 meters. Man, you got a lot to say again. But it's going to be beautiful in the morning. It's Everything's just going to be crystal white, all sparkly in the sunshine. If the sun's out, it's going to be gorgeous. But uh, it's getting colder now. It was warmer today, and now it's gotten cold pretty quick. That's what causes that. And... Uh, it's minus 15 Celsius here right now, which isn't meters. that cold. Keep to the right on Highway 6 North, Highway 11 North, and then take the entrance to the and right then. 120 meters. And then. You done? Man, yeah, definitely not done. Definitely not done. She's a talker. I haven't, she missed me. You missed me, Karen. I'm still married. I'm still off the market, Karen. But, uh, 
Yeah, it's gotten close. Minus 15, so it's supposed to warm up tomorrow again. Take the entrance to the right on Highway 11 North Lumsden. I think she just likes the sound of my voice. But, uh... Yeah, so we'll wake up tomorrow. Take oh my. the entrance to the right on Highway 11 North Lumsden. We'll wake up tomorrow, and Karen will be silent the whole night. She's still got more to say, that's why I'm not saying nothing. But uh, it'll be warmer in the morning, is what I'm saying. So this frost, the hoarfrost won't last long. In five kilometers, keep to the right on Lewis Rail Trail, Highway 11. No one cares, Karen. Rolling into Saskatoon. I'm pretty sure this guy wants to be in this lane. I don't know why he's in that lane. I don't know why that car's tailgating him and not just going around in one of the two lanes on either side of him. In 400 meters, take the entrance to the right on Highway 16 West Highway 11 North Highway 12 North Trans Canada Highway. Wow. That's quite a mouthful. What was that again, Karen? I didn't quite catch that. I think it's called Idle Wild Drive. What did you call it? It's supposed to be Idle Wild Drive. Okay. Guess she's not gonna let us know again. I don't know why I always grunt and groan as I'm turning corners. I have power steering. Flying J, Saskatoon. Just like at the other Flying J. There's like nobody here. In 100 meters, make a U-turn if possible and then turn right into 150 meters. That was awesome. I'm not going to have to fight for parking this weekend because everybody's at home with the people they love celebrating New Year's. And I'm out here delivering freight. All the more parking for me. Let's grab some fuel because I want to fuel tonight. I don't like going to bed with empty tanks in the winter. Even though it's warmed up quite a bit already since we're giant. It's only minus 10 here. Let's get our sales and go, go, juice. Oh, oh, didn't see that coming. Should have seen that coming. Let's see if the DEF pumps work here. Or if we'll have to go to Petropass tomorrow. Gotta fix your DEF pumps, Flying J. They don't work in cold weather. Look into Petro Pass in Canada. Their DEF pumps work in any weather. All the way down to minus 40, minus 50, their DEF pumps are still working. Figure out what they're doing and copy them. I won't tell anybody. I do just want to point something out. Those trucks in front of me there parked right over there. With all these empty spots here today, the parking lot's more than half empty. These guys still paid to park right up front. Now I don't want to laugh because they might need to park there because they have a disability and they can't walk as far so let's not laugh but uh, let's just say if I see them walking inside without any problems I'm gonna laugh. You paid for parking <laughs> when the parking lot is half empty. All right we're all full right up to the top. I know exactly where I want to park already and it's not here. I do not pay to park. Especially when there's so many free spaces. I'm not even parking in the parking lot. This guy's not even in a spot. He just wanted to be close to the doors. These last two trucks aren't even in a spot. Oh, come on guys, don't be lazy. Sometimes I can cut you some slack, but other times I just gotta call you out. You're lazy. You're lazy. Oh, somebody parked where I wanted it. Oh no, it's still open. Still open. I know where I'm parking. I know where I'm parking. Shoot, I gotta go around the other way. Make a U turn if possible and then turn right into 150 meters. I thought I saw a better spot. Nope. Nope. We're still going with this spot over here on the road. Because this 
guarantees a nice quiet night. We're gonna back in to the dead end there. Well, everybody, me and my new jacket and Chevy, I'm gonna call it a night here. Thanks for joining us today. It's good to be back on the road again after Christmas. Tomorrow we deliver here, rush towards Alberta. Once we unload in Alberta tomorrow afternoon, hopefully we make it there on time. If not, I can unload there the 31st in the morning, but that'll really screw up my plans to get to my motel on time. Because I have a motel in Kamloops, like I was telling you, reserved for tomorrow, uh, for the 31st. But I want to get there with enough time in the day to check in, settle in, watch some TV, figure out what's going on for New Year's Eve, maybe go see some fireworks, I don't know, but I don't want to get there at like 2 in the morning after New Year's. So uh, we got to get everything done that we have to get done tomorrow so we have all, so we can get there. Thanks for joining me guys, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, I make a new video pretty much every day. Tell your friends, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and I'll see you tomorrow.